Once upon a time in PHC, a married couple gave birth to the cutest kid. That's in the preach the hand of God was upon him. But the road ahead of him wasn't easy. Until he found Christ, whose yoke is easy. Now everything is easy, peasy, wheezy, for cheesy. Really easy picking cheese mixed with joyful living. When you give your life to Christ, life is sweet and creamy. Yum, yum, tastes like heaven on a bed of roses. Come, come and see some say that's not the way it is. But uh uh, you don't know the power Jesus gives. You carry your cross after the cross is power. Power he gives the power that exceeds the wildest dreams and fantasies of Samson. Yep, yep, the power of the spirit. Problem is you don't know the power given to thee or how to use it. So I'm here to teach thee. How you doing, Jake? I'm really sorry for what the ditch you found. The two people I love most are gone, but I got my revenge. So apparently this is a revenge flick, which is basically the thing for a lot of action movies. <sighs> Very stereotypical. Hero remorse. Special forces, honorably discharged. You don't belong in here. And who are you? <laughs> I'm the best thing that's ever happened to you. What is this place? Welcome to Section 8. We've been sanctioned to eliminate any threats anywhere in the world. So why am I here? Look, you're a great soldier. One of the best I've ever known. Most of the agents we recruit are men and women like you who have a special set of skills. So where is You know, this is all programming for a mindset kind of justifying the murders that America commits all around the world, you know, or, or the murders that are committed in the name of America, you know, primarily by American agencies, you know, which at the end of the day, just a few people who, who control these agencies. And at the end of the day, when you look at who is at the top, it's often globalists and New World Order folks, you know, who are who now like to brand themselves as people who are pushing the um, liberal world order, you know, that is the new thing that they, they do so that to appeal to the liberals among the masses to say, ah, they are for us, but it is still the same old new world order and it is still the same consolidation of wealth for just a very tiny percent of people. And you know, socialism for everybody, you know, you own nothing and be happy. Then, of course, we own everything, you know, and then they will program you to be happy. You can program or manipulate or condition people to be happy about slavery. You can condition people to be happy about, you know, basically being locked up in a cage. You know, people can be programmed and conditioned in such a, ma in such a manner. So that is the meaning of you will own nothing and be happy. Happiness can be something that people can be um, programmed to buy happiness. Just like a lot of people who are duped up, you know, on cocaine and all of that and heroin, a lot of them believe they are buying happiness, but look at the reality of things, you know. So um, it is unfortunate, but it is what it is. These kinds of movies, you know, that is what it is. It is propaganda. It helps justify, oh, we are making the world a better place. We are helping by American um, operatives or agents going to other nations and killing everybody that they do not like or, or any politician or any figure that goes against their general picture, picture scheme. So they are just basically eliminating um, political leaders that do not um, bow to them or follow their agenda you know so that is just um, the worst form of colonization and globalism you know that is taking place is unfortunate assassin we're whatever we're ordered to be they resist we resist back you ever hear of them cesspool of operatives disgrace cia fbi I know these guys. It's part of their culture in a way. We're assassinating a state senator. Black bag job. So that's the reality. At the, at, the, at the end of the day, who who is controlling it? You know, and what are you working for? So you're just plain evil. You know, but we are conditioned by watching such movies, which is basically the theme of 007, you know, the whole James Bond series, the whole Bond supremacy. Basically, the whole genre of spy movies and all these secret um, government organization movies, you know, you know what they are doing is working towards a big picture of manipulating and, you know, just helping a few control the many, you know. So um, that is the thing and it's under the guise of, oh, there. If you just look at the situation with Putin, now it has come out that the reality of the matter is that without Putin's situation, that, you know, as the war started, there was actually a peace deal on the table, but Boris Johnson came in and said, no, you know, 
all that um, could have stopped that Ukraine war is Ukraine saying we are going to be independent, we are not going to join NATO, and we are going to get rid of all the US labs. That is all Ukraine had to do, but they had to follow this long route. So whose fault is it for all that has happened? It is not Putin, it is the Ukrainian government, you know, and the UN itself. They wanted this, they have created it because the whole goal is that the UN actually wants Russia to be theirs. Understand that every country, every nation that bows to them, every nation that um, signs their treaties, is bowing to whoever is at the top of the UN, the World Economic Forum, you know, the World Organization, you know, that is what it is about. This is about a, a very um, um, paper-based, you know, method of colonization, you know, of taking over and ruling over the whole world. You know, that is what this is, you know, is unfortunate, but many people don't realize it. Family! They're innocent people. He doesn't belong here. I say we take him out. He goes with serious problems, soldier. I need money and a gun. You're gonna need more than that. So I'm guessing now this guy discovered that the people that he was killing were innocent people and they did not deserve to die. So now he's not going against the organization organization. You know, that's good, that's smart. I like that. I think you better get your ass out of here. I'll find him and I'll finish the job. What do you want? I want to watch you die! Of course, this also gives the idea that you know, just it's just section eight that is real. But you know, the reality of the matter is the whole system. You know, the whole FBI, the whole CIA. Who is this for? What is it for? You know, all this um, MI sixteen or thirteen or whatever. You know, the British Secret Service, the Russian Secret Service, all these secret agencies. What is it for? Who is it for? You know, it's it's not for the people. You know, the Russian Secret Service. How have they helped the Russian people? You know, the American Secret Service, how they help the American people, the British Civil Service, how, how they um, help the British people. It is the politicians that, you know, run things and, you know, these elites that create networks of power and putting people in place that are using such things for their own nefarious aims and objectives. You know, that being said, make sure you check out Alfred.vip and also subscribe and like all things Alfred on all platforms, including this one. Thank you and God bless you. Say this prayer or the belief you have not given your heart to Jesus Christ. Dear God, I believe in my heart that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, came, died, and was raised from the dead to save me. I confess him, Lord, over my life and ask you to give me your Holy Spirit to live within me. I receive your spirit by faith and thank you for I am now born again. In Jesus' name, amen. If you just prayed that prayer, congratulations. You are now a Christian. Go to alfred.vip and click the salvation prayer link in the main menu to get resources that will help you with your work with God. God bless you.